Namaste. Today, we are going to derive basal interpolating polynomial for basal interpolation. So, let us consider a difference table like this, which we have considered in Gauss interpolation, yes, as well as we have used the Gauss interpolation for generating Stirling interpolation polynomial. So, let us generate the basal interpolating polynomial. So, in this case, we use x0, y1, okay. Next one is y0. Next one is we move upward here. So, del square y0, del square y minus 1. Next one is this one, del cube y minus 1. Again, we take 2. That is del power 4 y minus 2, del power 4 y minus 1. Again, del power 5 y minus 2. And lastly, del power 6 y minus 3. So, its polymer is considered as yp. If there are two terms taken, then we divide it by 2, okay, by adding it. So, that means y0 plus y1 by 2, yes. Plus, if no polymer is taken, then we should not divide it or the divided difference is not divided. That means b1 del y0 plus again. These two are taken so b2 del square y minus 1 plus del square y naught by 2 plus b3 again single so we do not have to divide it by 2 plus again 2 so we have to divide it by 2 b4 del 4 y minus 2 plus del 4 y minus 1 divided by 2 plus this is also single so b5 del power 5 y minus 2 plus b6 del 6 y minus 3 plus dot 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 okay so this is the polynomial which we considered as basal interpolating polynomial so we have to find the value of b1, b2, b3, b4, b5 and we follow the similar process which is used in Gauss forward and backward interpolation. So, LHS, okay, LHS equals to yp and it is written as e power p y naught is shifting operator and we can directly write it as y naught plus P del y naught plus P into P minus 1 by 2 factorial del square y naught plus P into P minus 1 P minus 2 divided by 3 factorial into del cube y naught plus P into P minus 1 P minus 2 P minus 3 divided by 4 factorial into del power 4 y naught. Yes, that was the equation which we get. NRHS. Okay. So, in terms of y naught, we write it. RHS equals to y naught by 2. Yes, y naught plus y1 is broken. So, y naught by 2 plus y1 by 2 plus. Okay. y naught plus y1 by 2 plus b1 del y naught plus okay b2 del square y minus 1 by 2 plus b2 del square y naught by 2 plus b3 del 3 y1 okay y minus 1 it must be minus 1 okay not 1 so minus 1 okay plus okay dot 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 now okay again rhs become 
y not by 2 plus so y1 let us shift it to backward that means it is e y not yes by 2 so if you don't understand please see the previous video it, it is a shifting operator plus okay b1 y not plus b2 so minus 1 is shifted once yes e power minus 1 so shift it backward once okay sorry doily square e power okay y not by 2 plus b2 del square it is y not okay by 2 plus b3 del cube e power minus 1 y not okay plus dot 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 and we write into so y not yes here is also y not so we take common between two so it gives y not 1 by 2 plus b1 okay so it is e y not not that okay e y not e means 1 plus delta s yes? 1 plus delta y not by 2 yes where are this y1 okay plus okay b2 del square okay it was 1 plus delta okay by 2 is here so y not plus b2 del square okay why not by 2 plus dot 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 okay by comparing the coefficient in like as in previous goes forward and backward interpolation we get b1 plus 1 by 2 equals to p okay why not why not and therefore b1 is equals to p minus 1 by 2 similarly we get b2 as p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial and b3 as okay b3 as p into p minus 1 p minus 1 by 2 factorial divided by sorry 2 divided by 3 factorial so on putting the value of b1 b2 and b3 in the polynomial which we have supposed we can get it as yp is equals to y naught plus y1 by 2 plus p minus 1 by 2 del y naught plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial del square y minus 2 sorry minus 1 plus del square y naught by 2 plus dot 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 which is the required interpolating polynomial for basal interpolation okay so now we will be generating or deriving interpolating polynomial for Ebert's interpolating okay so this is the difference table like as in previous which we have used in Gauss forward and backward interpolation. Note that Ebert's interpolating polynomial or Ebert's interpolation is only for even series. Okay, and we take only even part is or so y power zero is yes, it is this one and del square is yes. so del square takes this two. Okay, and power 4 takes this 2 only even power of delta is taken it is del power 0 del power 1 del power 2 del power 3 del power 4 del power 5 del power 6 so only pairing is taken or even but pairing is taken so no that okay so this can be also taken so the polynomial becomes like yp equals to okay e not it is not a shifting operator okay it is the constant for ebert's interpolating polynomial e not y not plus e2 
del square y1, okay, y minus 1, y minus 1, plus e4, okay, e0, e2, e4, del power 4, y minus 2, plus dot 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 dot, okay, plus, and first, for the below term, we write it as f0, it is a constant, okay, f0, y1, plus, f2, del square, y0, plus, f4, del power 4, y minus 1, dot, dot, dot. So, for upper term, E0 is used, for lower term, F0 is used. And note that, Ebert's interpolating polymer is taken from E1 part only. So, del power 0, del power 2, del power 4, del power 6. There is no partner for this, okay? So, we can take as well as do not take. Now, LHS. Same as, Gauss forward interpolation, YP. It gives y naught plus p del y naught plus p into p minus 1 2 factorial del square y naught s i have written directly please follow the previous video so rhs is equals to e naught y naught plus e2 del square y minus 1 plus e4 del 4 y minus 2 plus dot 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 plus f naught y1 plus f2 del square y naught plus f4 del power 4 y minus 1 dot dot dot. So, converting the RHS terms of y minus 1, y minus 2, y1 into the form of y naught okay del y naught del square y naught del cube y naught and so on and converting it we get all terms in y naught yes so we can compare it with lhs and after comparing we get e naught is equals to 1 minus p let it be q f naught is equals to p e2 is equals to q q square minus 1 by 3 factorial f naught is equals to p into p square minus 1 by 3 factorial okay and we get e power 4 sorry e4 not e power 4 e4, e4 is q into q square minus 1 q square minus 2 square okay 1 means 1 square so 2 square by 5 factorial f power f4 is it is f2 okay f4 is p into p square minus 1 square into p square minus 2 square divided by 5 factorial so by substituting the value of e0 e2 e4 f0 f2 f4 in the polymol, polynomial which we have supposed it gives the relation as yp is equals to 1 minus p y0 plus q into q square minus 1 square okay 1 divided by 3 factorial del square y minus 1 plus dot 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 plus what is the value of f naught it was p y1 plus p into p square minus 1 square divided by 3 factorial del square y naught plus dot 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 okay this is the required ebert's interpolating polynomial okay and note that for applying ebert's interpolate interpolation the data must be uniform, uniformly distributed like as in Gauss interpolation, Stalling interpolation and Bessel interpolation. 
if it is not distributed uniformly then we use lagrange interpolation that means y is equals to a naught plus a1 x minus x naught plus a2 x minus x naught plus into x minus x1 plus dot 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 yes this was the polynomial which i have used during the video of interpolation so this is the end of interpolation now in next video i will be continuing the regression or, or fitting a curve or line into the given data okay thank you bye bye